Hello everyone, welcome back. Last episode we got started, found the perfect area to start building and constructed our starter house. This episode we build a tunnel constructor, mark out the road for the island, go to the nether and create a workshop to house all our create crafting contraptions. This is Minecraft Create. Hello everyone, and today we are back with some more Minecraft Create mod. We are still here on our island. I've only added a little bridge here and a little path down here just so you can actually get to and from the base. That too much of a worry. And of course the stream, it's also blocking that kind of bad sight underneath it. I actually do quite like this stream. Oh, hello. And for people who didn't notice last time, which is basically everyone, there is Scoria under there, which I got. Just to be like mud or whatever the hell you want to call it. So, I'm not sure if I put this in the last video, even though I edited it like five hours ago. But I have slept since then, so, you know. Oh, well, I'll say what I'm going to say, then I'll do that. I have some palm trees. This island, I want to turn into a palm tree island to make it, you know, more tropical. It's lagging because I'm actively uploading the first episode. I have started removing some trees here, but I ran out of my axe and I damaged this one quite heavily. So the plan is just to slowly keep removing all the trees that have ever existed. There'll be no railway on this island. Well, no train railway on this island, because there's no need for one. So the plan, as you can see, I have scouted a large area. And you see, this ocean is huge. It keeps going this way as well, I'm pretty sure. So the plan is to quickly build up this island with some simple things. A couple more homes. Most of those I'll do off camera, because you don't want to see me build the same kind of style house constantly when there's nothing inside of them. We are going to fill it with palm trees. We'll have a little road going around. There'll be a small storage hut just to start off. You know, start a storage hut, a wheat farm, uh, then like a little garage for supply trucks. We will then, around this area here, maybe over this area, in this little dock area here, or in this little area, add a dock. So the, dock, the plan is for a dock to go here, uh, where we will have the trucks pick up the thing from like, the wheat farm or and whatever else we have on this island, take it to the docks, they will load it onto ships that will come in and then take it to our main industrial thing somewhere. We're also going to add a little lighthouse here, just for the ships and stuff. The plan then, there's two, I hate the two monuments, they're going to be a problem. But then I think the plan is to go over to this island here, chop it up. Make it into a large kind of just you know this is like the basic block production you know, stuff like that. But we will just see because we've got a lot of space to work with. As you can see, we've got a bunch of things. I think this might be the huge industrial land area. It's nice and big. You have a huge port in it, or maybe this island here have a huge port there. We will just see, but we will mainly be doing this meaning we need a phantom farm as well. I'm not sure how to make those, but we'll see. Depending how big it is, I might make a single building on this island here. Or maybe go back here. We will just see how it works. Oh, I can maybe do it in the volcano. Have a little train coming to in front of the volcano. That could be cool. Or like a lava farm in the volcano. That could be really cool. But anyway, so that is the plan. Not for today, obviously, but that is the plan in general, the, you know, the, the end plan. Alright then, everyone, so I decided that the first order of business was to create the terrain I would need to build the two things I had planned for this episode. A nether portal and a grand workshop. So, I got chopping and digging to create a flatter landscape next to my house where I would be placing both of these things. Alright, well, I just wanted to show you this huge cave. I mean, like, this map's really useful. There, ooh, abandoned mineshaft there, hello. 
But just this cave is humongous. It goes all the way over here. The water sections are massive. If we want to do any like dwarven style builds, here would be a lovely spot. Oh, you foyer! Oh, that almost ended badly. Look at this place, though. It's huge. There's the mine shaft. So I'm gonna get back to mining. Oh, and there's another one there. Spider eggs. Well. Ugh. And I'll uh, get back to you guys when uh, ooh, what's this? All right, okay, stop. I'll get back to you guys when we are done. Let's go. All right then. So I quickly got to work. Now back from the mines to create a platform for my Nether portal. I decorated it later, but right now I needed a blaze burner so that I could make brass. As this entire episode, I was working towards one crucial goal for my sanity, really, the jetpack. Because these roofs are being a pain to make. For that, you need a lot of stuff. So I constructed the nether portal, jumped into the nether, got blown to pieces by a ghast. Don't, don't love that noise! This is when I can't see where he is. And ha! Ow. I'll take you on, motherfucker. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Yeah, I'm dead. Ah! Went back, recovered my body, kidnapped some blazes, and got back, only having dying twice. I, I, I died twice. I, I cut one out of the episode, but I died twice. I'm not gonna lie to you. I died twice. I'm an idiot. That's a little area here. I've forgotten that we're hanging over the cliff. I'd actually forgotten that we hang over the cliff here. Aha, it's F4 for the free cam. Yeah. In case no one got a good look before, we are hanging off of the cliff here. So the plan is to have a road. But maybe it just goes, maybe it's like an end to end. You, you, you have a turning point like here. Road that goes along this side, around the side there. I have to make that normal grass. It's gonna be a pain in the ass. Then it comes like a yard here. Like little buildings on the. They'll have buildings up here connected by little paths that will also feed down to little pickup points down below. And then here we'll make a little port to uh, bring ships in. This will be the lighthouse here. And then, yeah, that is the plan of action. Okay, so, I need to do you, and then... You need to be... Okay, you need to be like that, that sideways, and upside down. We'll just add the thing in here, make that, and stick that there. Is there anything there? There's nothing there. Wonderful. How are we feeling about more gearboxes? So what we need is more gears as well, more cogs even, to make gearboxes. Well actually if I just bring that whole thing up, that extra one. Have that there, that there, then have another vertical here, 
that way. No, I need to. Ver oh, no, last is not a vertical. And we do that. There we go. And cover that up with trap doors. Grab some more of them. Whoa, frame panels. How do I make a trap door? Right, I do it with this. Oh boy, that's just one trap door. All right then. Then bop bop bop. There we go then. Then put them away. Put that away. Put that away. Nope, not you. Need you out. Right then. So now I just need the pot. Is it called pot? No. Alright, I'm just gonna create. Don't know what the hell the thing's called. There you are. A basin. I just need that. Alright then. I can. Oh god, okay. Where's my endosite? Where the hell is the endosite? There's some of it. That's not all of it though, I know that. There it is. You in there and you in there. Oh, I got down. All right, okay, never mind. I need to do this and split you. Get make you nuggets. And just do that. There we go. Do that and that and that. There we go. So put you up there. Get any? I don't think I got any. No, I mix those two, don't I? I think I mix those two. I can't remember now. Oh well. No, do not put you in there. Uh, in there. So I need a basin. Just gonna be that. One, oh, no, it's just you two, right? I have the exact perfect fuel for you. There we go, look at that. Hello right, everyone, so I've decided that if I just open this out here, I'm not gonna get anything around here without doing some whoa unloaded chunks. <laughs> Without doing some serious damage to the landscape. So I'm gonna make a tunnel straight through here. Popping out here. Or we can then have a little road snake down there to a little yard here. But I have no idea if this works or not. This took a load of my resources. Most of my coal is gone. And I really do not know if this is gonna work or not. All right then, so that should now be this done. I've increased it, so you know trucks can definitely pass in. Well, I'm thinking three wide, so that gives them a nice amount of space, but it also means that we can bring larger vehicles through if we ever make some. We can maybe even have, uh, so one, two, three. Two lanes in it could be quite good, but this should now be working. Night time, yeah, let's go.
Or it's a thunderstorm. One of the two. I don't really care which. That's an eyesore each time I look at it. I need to connect up the path and everything for it. So. Yeah, so this is how I'm doing it. I've got that so it'll block it. It'll be behind. Yeah, that, that, but that's fine. Okay, so. How does it go forward? I don't know how it goes forward. I have to see if this goddamn thing works. You know, apart from you being a problem. How did you two even get put there? I never set a filter for you. Ow, 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 ow. Uh oh. There we go. I can put those in the backpack. I can set it off. Oh, look at this, yes! Yeah, I'm gonna need to go and deal with the water over here, though. That is at the end of the tunnel now. Yep, okay, we're out, we're out, we're out. And there we go, as easy as that. We have a tunnel straight through the mountain, and now I just need to cut it back a little bit on both sides. Leave it hanging out by one. Where it needs to. Sure, I'll get the blocks I need for that during this. Now, with the tunnel mostly built, all I needed was some texturing for the road. I decided on basalt, because it was close to the deep slate I was using for the main texture, and took my new machine out for a spin, only to realise it was basically useless because it placed blocks around it, making the tunnel. It's a thing I wish I had kept, seeing what happened to my poor new machine that I built. But, that's how I got ahead of myself, so I built a new machine, a world eater. My first one. It lasted for about five minutes before I lost it to lava. But I, I recovered all the basalt, so that's something at least. But the price that World Eater cost me. The basalt wasn't worth it. But with the basalt gathered, I began to construct the road inside the tunnel, making sure it was all textured and lit up, you know, to see, make sure I liked how the road was going to look. I then marked out the entire main road, didn't fill it in, but I marked it out for the entire island, terraforming the land as I went, mainly on the two slopes uh, for the main road just on either side of the tunnel, but there was a little corner that I needed to, well, fix up a lot with terraforming. But with that done, I could officially move on to the large workshop, the thing I'd been looking forward to, to getting that jetpack. The thing I'd been looking forward to building so I could finally get that elusive jetpack. Alright then, every Oh, lag. Alright then, everyone. So... Ugh, right then. That is one bit of stone left. So much stuff. I had to make a brand new axe, brand new shovel. Both iron this time. I'm not even diamond anymore. But now, we have the road around the island completely marked out. Not finished, as you can... uh. See here, I've left some space so I can be testing the railway underneath, because I don't want to waste Phantom Railway on this. Though we actually will see about that, because uh, I'm not sure if I can figure out the up part, but we'll see. So yeah, we have the road around the entire island, going around there. 
And this is where the uh, little things are going to be. So we're going to have the storage house somewhere around there. A little wheat farm somewhere around there. And a basic andesite farm as well, if possible. But I'm not sure about that one. We're going to have to find out how complicated all that stuff is. And obviously we have the nether portal and the starter house. Here we're going to have the uh, little yard area where the trucks are going to stop. Unload stuff to the docks, which are going to be down there. All right then, so now to build my workshop. First I needed to clear some trees and landscape the area, and that took quite a while. I also built up the foundation of the workshop, which was to follow the same design as my house. So with that done, we could finally start building the workshop. Up we go. Alright, where's my hole? Somewhere over here, isn't it? Nope, because this is not the right building. Let's go down another portal. Here's the hole. Shut up, Toucan. I'm picking this side. Put a break. Yeah, and so that's what I've got there. I forgot how to make a bloody gearbox again. Gearbox. Where? Right, okay, that's easy. Now I need to make small gears again. That's also easy. Wrong thing. So, from big, too small. Too small. From big to small. So we have this deployer here. Nope. Got this deployer here. No. Here. Depot there. You know, I'm going to move this one thing back. Just one more thing. Fun thingy again. Yeah, then I want to turn like that. Yep, so there's a deployer. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. 18, 21, okay, there we go. Well, got some brass things left over, I guess. Also, just made enough, I'm just saying.
could have a depot. That's a backpack, that's what I want. One, two, three, four, five. I think I'll use this. Let me have a depot here. Don't have any endosite casings. Casing, endosite. Oh yeah, of course, I just need to, this is the manual one. Let's do that for then grab this and go like that there we go and we've got this here So, do that, do that, oh there we go, and then it went nowhere, okay, how about now? Then you just spew out. Why do you just spew out? But I think it actually looks pretty cool. So when this gets put into an automated system, it looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, the visuals are just amazing. And you're done. Okay, so it does start crafting this time. So that's an improvement off last time. Why do you just explode? I'm so confused as to why you just explode. You work. You're meant to work. So why don't you bloody work? Instantly. So, third time's the charm. Or five trillionth time's the charm, I guess, at this point. You combine, you combine, you combine, you combine. There we go, yeah, with the wrong bloody stones. God damn it. Right then, so, now time for jetpack. I need brass ingots. If I checked, I could have got while I was there. What configuration do I need it in? Uh, I just need to... Eh, I'm sure that'll be fine without it. So, fans. That. All that. All I need is those brass ingots. Then we will have ourselves a jetpack. Could have got the copper jetpack, as I recently found out, a lot earlier. But that's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's all I needed. Just the six. Ow. I think I'm always going to take damage on that thing. I never really want to not take damage on there. It's not until I'm flying, which I'll be in a minute. Right, so, it is... Three, one, two, three, one, 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 two, three. What's on the bottom? Single and the site nugget.
Of course you do. All right, time to do this again. So, boom, 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 boom. We have a brass jetpack. How do I work you? And blocks, sneaking, water, active dive mode, fuel zero. Take a step back on your open. So, with the jetpack now built, it was time to construct a machine for sturdy sheets. Because I needed fuel, Spe specifically lava tanks. But for sturdy sheets, I also needed obsidian dust, which is why I made the crushing wheels earlier. So I made a crusher and a sturdy sheets machine. And with that done, I constructed lava and water tanks so I could finally fly the entire video. A total of 50 in-game days to make this jetpack. I did get distracted with tunnels and roads, but that's not important here. Okay, everyone, so I was just going and getting some more lava for the jetpack, but I found this, the Lorassium Nugget. Now, despite the fact it rings a bell, I don't remember what the hell it does. So, um... Oh, that's what it does. Forgot about that. I forgot what the goddamn controls are for this mod entirely. That's not it. With that done, it was time to lock in and finish the workshop. So with that said, let's cue the music. So I have a little notice that there is a creeper inside there, right next to some actual important components. I have torches. Alright, so it's just time to go in. Don't have time to waste switching weapon. There's two. Okay, I want them to come outside. I will happily fight them outside. Okay, where's number two? Me, mate. Come on. Outside. There we go. The advantage of being able to just a cave a wall. Right, okay, so let's just temporarily. Do that. And finish it with this. Right then. So now what we need is two punchers. And things. I don't have any of them. So, I need more deployers. Honestly, I'm just going to go steal one from the Steam Thing production. Okay, how much of that do I have? Still 60 there. Wow, okay. Is getting sucked away, wonderful. Right, so oh. There we go.
Wait, no. That was when I didn't... I need two of you, then one of the punchers, right? Yeah. So... No, track. Yeah, two of you, then one... Press. I'm gonna make another one. Take you. You know that they, they you have a bunch of cogs I can find useful. How many cogs you had left? A bunch, probably. Or just four. Wow, you only have four cogs left, damn. Honestly, we're still pretty good. I'm just topping up every episode. I'd make more water wheels. But yeah, I'll, I can do all that between episodes. So, this is the... No. This is the uh, episode. We've done a lot this episode. This I probably cut out a lot of the process. We have, because we've done a lot. We have... Oh, I see the problem now. We have. There we, we have built the tunnel bore. That has made, well, we've made a tunnel constructor. We have laid out the map for the road across the island or around the island. We have removed all the mahogany trees from the island uh, to, up, to, up to where the port is going to be. We have built the nether portal, gone to the nether, finished all the create contra all the basic create contraptions across the two buildings, and we have made the house, the storage house. So without further ado, guys, that's gonna be it for this episode. I hope. Oh, so I want to point this out. Kind of like that. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this episode. I hope you have all enjoyed, and I will see each and every one of you hopefully in the next one. So goodbye, everyone.